One of the best strategies that I take in terms of leading a team is being emotional intelligence. And what that means is um, I'm sympathetic to people. I'm empathetic to people. Uh, so I listen. I make sure that I give people the opportunity to listen, to, to speak and to be heard. I think it's really important for leaders to not necessarily look down um, and to be on the same level. So yes, I might have a great big title and, you know, but we're all on a team and we all have a goal. So I am very much a big advocate of letting people have their say. And if you have a great idea, then you lead the team and you tell me what we should be doing. So it's really creating an environment of collaboration and making sure that people aren't afraid to speak their mind. No idea is a bad idea. Um, I think a good leader also is um, helps really set the, the roadmap. And so a good leader can can say, listen, we need to be 10 blocks from here. And at the end of the day, we're going to be 10 blocks from here, but I need everyone on the team to tell us how we're going to get there. So it's it's about making sure that we're all working on a team. No one is higher than the next person because the highest thing actually is the goal. And so if we're all working towards the goal, if we're all really being true and bringing our best talents and our best ideas and you're comfortable in doing that, um, I think we'll reach the goal. When I do make a mistake, I own up to it. Hey, listen, that might have been that might not have been the best decision. Um, how about we do this? I think you have to put everything on the table. Um, you have to be transparent. And when you're transparent and your whole team knows that, listen, my boss is on me, I'm going to be on you. Don't take it personal. We're just trying to get to the goal. Um, it really, really fosters a really great environment. And sometimes popcorn in meetings work too. So, <laughs> so you know, that's part of, a, you know, being a good leader, just having good snacks too. 